you think you know what we're going to talk about. And welcome back to Three Fates Decide. It just sounds more dramatic that way. All right, so this week we are going to be talking about... But just when you least expect it, we changed the game. One Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. I mean, we always celebrated Easter. You're part of the Half-Blood Prince. So we're going to do another free talk, freestyle thing, no planned discussion. At the end of the day, only one thing matters. We decide. But we're going to hit the, the, the main highlights. That is the thing that we were saying back in that episode. A quick recap. Three Fates Decide podcast. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Three Fates Decide. I'm Mary and I'm here with my two co-hosts, Liz and Sam. Say hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. All right. Today we are going to kind of revisit a topic we had talked about last year. Um, and it, that is... Hollywood and its lack of originality when it comes to new movies. We are talk we are going to be revisiting all all those lovely lovely reboots that nobody has asked for, but yet Hollywood is insisting on filming and putting out. <laughs> uh money. Money, money, money. Yes. I and you know, as Mary mentioned, we did it was actually, I think, one of our, our first uh, episodes. It was toward the beginning of when we first started recording anyway. And we had talked about how Hollywood has lost its originality. And especially over the last several months, or maybe even like a year or more, it's become just increasingly more obvious that we cannot. Like, no one in Hollywood has an original thought. When it comes to a movie, TV show, anything. They're all either remakes, reboots, uh, you know, sequels. It's, you know, just... Yes, you're always going to have those certain movies that have sequels. Like, we're not going to get into a lot of the um, comic movies. So there is one that we're going to mention even though I did like it and that's the Batman because Batman's been so done a million and one times that like, just stop it. You see, all right, just stop. You have other characters. (laughs) Stop. Um, But you know, so, but other than that, like I, we're not really going to touch the the comic book movies because that's, I feel like a different thing. Um, But everything else though is, is fair game. Fair yes. game, I say. It, it is. It's all fair game now. <laughs> and it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, it is getting old. Mm-hmm. It's getting old Hollywood. Yeah. There has got to be some idea out there that is new. Or a new take. Hell, even a new take on an old idea I'm great with. Let's not go back to movies that have that were perfection to start with. They do not need to be remade. Well, no, and what's, don't. what's funny is I feel like there are certain movies and TV shows that were made in the wrong time, and if made now, would be so much better, and they're not touching them. Uh-huh. Like, there's so many things that could be remade and done so well because of technology now compared to when it was made and stuff like that. No one's doing it. Or they did it, and they did it wrong. They didn't do it the way that they, like, you know? Like, if you're going to remake a movie, or reboot a movie, first of all, you need to make sure you do it justice. Okay? Right? You need to, like, pay homage to the original craft. And, like, uh, and my example is, like, I talk to my trainer about this all the time, like, RoboCop, Right? The original uh-huh. RoboCop, they're supposed to be so high technology and all that, but it was made in the freaking 80s. So there's only so much technology that they had. So everything is old as hell. So yeah. they remade RoboCop, but they didn't do it the way that it should have been done. They should have paid homage to the original and just literally done the original movie, but made it more technologically savvy in today's technology. That's what it should have been. 
and they did they failed. The the remake of RoboCop was terrible. I believe it even did terrible in the box office because it was it was like it was ridiculous. That was that's my uh, example of a failure reboot. Now, I haven't gotten around to seeing Dune yet, but I've heard Dune Dune was pretty good. I've heard that too. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it. I haven't had a chance to see it either. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to use an example of a reboot remake that actually turned out pretty good, I guess Dune would be the example of that one. Because, I mean, I think it's general consensus that the earlier one that was done in the 80s was, like, garbage. Yeah. And, um, I mean, that that's generally what I heard. I mean, I didn't even watch that one because like, I heard it was bad. So, um but you know there's definitely more like positive reviews on the recent one and in fact like they're they're going to film the the part 2 later this year so um so i guess we'll kind of go through a couple of the so one um you know looking at the this list that i kind of showed you guys and of course number 1 on the list uh was actually scream came out at the beginning of this year I, I don't consider it a reboot or a remake. I don't agree that it should technically be on this list because it is still a continuation of the story. Um, you know, so it is a little bit different. I know it did very, very well. I still haven't seen it, even though I love all the Scream movies. But uh, one thing I am going to say is the the next, of course, they already signed on to do another one. It's like becoming uh, Halloween. Like all these horror movies, they just have to keep going, you know. It, and it's just at some point they just need to stop. But the 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 next scream, uh, Nev Campbell's not even going to be in it. She she's stepping away because they're not paying her the way that she should be paid. So there's going to be no Sydney right. Prescott. How do you not have Sydney Prescott with Scream? No idea. You know, like now it's like. I feel like they should either pay her to make sure she comes back or scrap it because there's no way it's ever going to do anything. I think one of the reasons why this Scream movie came, you know, was so successful, it's been long enough. You know, I think it did pay mm -hmm. homage to the original Scream. Um, and it's, you know, Horror movies, listen, you, you get your jump scares, you, you know, whatever, and, uh, and, and it works, you know, um, as long as you don't make it stupid. And from, like I said, from what I understand, they did a pretty good job. So, yeah. Another successful <laughs> sequel. Another sequel that came out was Death on the Nile. It's a sequel of Murder on the Orient Express. I did not uh, watch that Did movie, we really though. need that? No, of course not. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that's been done a million and one times. Um, like I mentioned, The Batman came out in March. Mm -hmm. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I know we might do an episode strictly on that movie. Um, so I won't Maybe. go into, possibly, I won't <laughs> go into too much depth, but I, I was pleasantly surprised with Robert Pattinson his you know his whole thing like he just is yeah. just so good so good well, that's good um yeah uh, and every uh, everyone was you know everyone was was really good in the movie but especially since he's the first batman after an affleck like Ugh. well it could only get better right yeah, but I even liked him better than Christian Bale. Oh, really? I did. Mm. I did. Well, Christian Bale. <laughs> Christian Bale was yeah. Christian Bale was an excellent Bruce. You know, he was that charming, mm -hmm. charismatic, like you know, I'm the spoiled rich guy. You know, he played a really good Bruce. He, I did not like his Batman because his voice annoyed the crap out of me. 
Yeah. He was Batman. The deep voice. I just sometimes uh-huh. I was just like, what the heck are you doing? So, but this Batman and Bruce was much darker than uh-huh. anything else. So it is a different type. But I just enjoyed it a little bit more. I loved Christian Bale. I'm just saying. But I, I did enjoy it this one. And honestly, in my eyes, Michael Keaton will always be Batman. But yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go there. Although I, I honestly, I was kind of like, I was a little bit partial to uh, Val Kilmer as Batman. Mm. But I've yeah. always been a big, I've always been a big Val Kilmer fan. So, but mm. I mean, Michael Keaton was still probably cherry on top perfection. Yeah. So I, I will give you that. I, I, I will agree with you on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of Val Kilmer. Uh, he was in the new Top Gun movie. Yes. Right. You want to talk about sequels? You want to talk about, you know, 25 years later? <laughs> <laughs> that would, yeah. That would, that would, Again, I heard, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't um, either. I nope, heard it was very, very good. Either. Anyone that I, I talked to that saw it loved it. So That is that is what I've heard. I, I, yeah. I've, I've had that same consensus. People yeah. that see, I feel like sequels work when there's a gap. You know, because it's almost like it brings you back to see where they are now. Yeah. And I think that's because that's exactly what Top Gun did. Right. They didn't try to just go, you know, they didn't leave it off in the 80s with with everybody and then bring in all new characters that are young and that were the same age and then say, Oh yeah, by the way, these are the new characters. These are the same guys as from before. And it's only a couple of years later. No, it's been decades. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the also the other thing I thought was like a pretty great idea due to like the time gap is that it it also acts as like a follow up to the whole relationship um, you know, uh over like between like Maverick and well the late Goose. You know, right. what happened with that? And then, well, Goose had a son. So now we see what happened to that kid and it and the relationship that over time developed between, you know, Maverick and his best friend's son and that dynamic. Right. Mm hmm. So yeah. so then the plot, like, especially the emotional parts of the plot make way more sense for a sequel than, you know, just a, ooh, it's another adventure with Maverick and, you know, him and his, like, uh, going against, like, authority and whatever, you know. Right. I'm wondering how the new Avatar is going to come across. Because it's been a while. And Avatar was obviously huge. Um, so the new one that should be coming out eventually, um, right. it's going to be, uh, December it comes out. So we'll see, you know, kind of what, what happens with that one. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't consider it a reboot, a sequel or anything, but they're putting it in and I know there's a lot of controversy right now with it. Uh, Disney's Lightyear and there's a lot of controversy because people are upset because Tim Allen didn't voice Buzz Lightyear and you know then Tim came out and said it has nothing to do with the toy and all that I think Tim is just upset that he wasn't chosen to voice and I remember when I first heard that they were doing this I was a little confused as well like why wouldn't you have Tim Allen voice Buzz Lightyear but if you actually sit and think about it, this is not Buzz Lightyear, the toy. This movie is about Buzz Lightyear, the man that the toy is based off of. Right. So it doesn't have to link into the actual toy or any of the Toy Story movies. It doesn't have to be voiced by Tim Allen because it is not the toy. It is the man. So it being Chris Evans actually does make sense because then right. Tim Allen is strictly Buzz Lightyear, the action figure. Mm-hmm. So anyone who is 
upset about it. He needs to get over it. It's just my yeah. No, <laughs> my I two agree. cents. No, I totally agree with that. I mean, it's like, well, if they already explain that this is the concept for the movie, then it's like, what is, what are you guys not understanding? <laughs> Right, and it's like all you hear is people going, oh, but it should be Tim Allen, it should be Tim Allen. If it was the action figure, if this was Buzz Lightyear, you know, a single movie about Buzz Lightyear, the action figure, absolutely 100% it should be Tim Allen. Because there is only one Buzz Lightyear action figure, and that is Tim Allen. It's not about the toy. It has nothing to do with the toy. Is what the toy is based off of. So it does not have to be Tim Allen. I said what I said. Very not sorry. <laughs> she's telling she's telling it this. like it is I'm defending Chris <laughs> poor Chris uh, well I mean I was all for it because I didn't I didn't think it was about the toy like oh. at all and then there's a couple of uh, episodes episodes Jesus a couple of like movies that are going straight to like streaming and stuff like that that are based off of remakes cheaper by the dozen this is actually a remake of a remake of a remake yes my god and they how need many to stop times? making the remakes of the remakes of the remakes of the remakes yeah, stop just stop it yeah father of the bride same thing it's going on yeah. it's on hbo max right now it's a remake of a remake of a remake oh gosh Cut it out. Well, they keep remaking the parent trap too. Yes. I'm like, like do I, we I, really do we really need to make remake the parent trap? And don't get me wrong, why do they keep remaking all the um Disney movies in live, live action? action? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Why? Yeah, I don't know. What what's wrong with the animated? I yeah. I mean, my only thought would be I feel like people, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't even, I can't even, but yeah, literally they're going through all of the classics. Yep. And they're remaking them now. Well, they've made, they've made uh snow white. They've remade Cinderella a few times now. So yeah. The Cinder- Cinderella with Lily James. I actually didn't mind that one because it wasn't like the, animated story i mean you know obviously the premise is exactly the same like there's no you know right but like lion king it literally was and first of all the fact that they even did lion king yeah we're we're not it was still animated i know like live animation just why yeah why why did you do that there, there was no there was no reason to do that and it was literally a replica of the animated movie. Obviously, a few tweaks here and there, but like, yeah. Wh- why? Why Disney? Stop it! Obviously, you yeah. ran out of ideas. It's obvious they did. <laughs> That's why they bought Marvel? Yeah. I mean, um, really? I mean, is that what's saving Disney now? Is is Marvel? <laughs> I, I, I think at this point, yes. Well, and, and I don't know if you guys agree with me, and maybe we can even do an episode on this. I feel like Marvel is like an overkill. Yes. It's phase four. Like, I'm actually almost like tired of it. Like, I don't want any more Marvel stuff for a while, please. I haven't watched any of the new stuff yet. I still haven't yeah. finished Hawkeye. Oh, I didn't even watch it yet. <laughs> like, it's just like, one thing after and because like they started doing the Disney Plus show so it was just one after another after another and it's like by the time you even finish one it's like all right here comes the next thing and it's like wait a minute whoa like time out yeah can we no, I, lied. I did watch a Marvel I did watch a Marvel movie the other night on Disney Plus I I watched Doctor Strange 2 but I'm oh, telling you too. if you if you have not seen um no Wanda way Vision. home. No, WandaVision and Spider Man, No Way Home, you're completely fucking lost. Yeah. Cause I was lost because I'd have I've never seen the Spider Man movie yet. I've yet to see any <laughs> of the Spider I mean, I, of Tom Holland Spider Man's. 
I've not seen any of this. I didn't see the Spider-Man movie, but I knew what happened. So it's like, maybe that's why I wasn't that lost. Um, I I was was already lost there. I was kind of slightly lost. I did hear that Spider-Man was on Disney Plus in, I think, the UK. So hopefully. Hopefully it'll be coming for us. So it'll I can come watch to the, the US. Version. Yes. Because, I mean, like I've obviously those. I've seen uh, the Tobey Maguire versions. Right. Uh, I did never did watch the Andrew Garfield versions. Oh, I love Yeah, it. I didn't watch those either. Oh, uh, I, I thought Andrew Garfield was. I, I loved him. First of all, I love him. Let me just preface this. I love Andrew Garfield. And if he is single, if he is supposedly uh I'm I'm single too. So just saying. Anyway, um <laughs> shooting my shot here. Uh hey, but, might as well, girl, go for it. But um he was fantastic. He was at, I loved him. The movies were okay. I loved him as Peter Parker and Spider Man. Am I saying he's the best? No, him and Tom Holland, definitely. I mean, they're all different. You know, like, they all play. And that's why, like, the the new Spider-Man movie, like, I really want to watch it. I've seen clips and stuff. And I love when the three of them are together because it's, like, there's such different personalities all playing the same character. It, mm-hmm. It's, it's like, amazing. Yeah. So. I mean, I, like I said, I've, I've seen the Tobey Maguire one, so I'm kind of partial to Tobey Maguire. As Spider Man, yeah, but <laughs> I, I just, you know, that's just that's just me though. I mean, Tom Holland was the perfect age, right? You know, and so like, I mean, it worked. So I, I'm, and I'm not, I'm not knocking Tom Holland's Spider Man at all because I mean, obviously, I've seen him play Spider Man in other movies. However, I, I just. Until I'm, I can't pass judgment on whether he's a he's a better Spider Man than Tobey Maguire until I've actually fully seen the movies. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so uh, some other things, not necessarily sequels. Well, this one's a remake, but I actually don't want to count this either. It's Matilda. Um, but it's 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 a Netflix movie, but it's based off of the musical. Tilda that was on Broadway Uh so I'm actually okay with this because it's not again a remake of Danny DeVito's Tilda right I don't count this because you you can't remake the Danny DeVito version of it you just can't I'm actually (laughs) really looking forward to the Matilda uh movie coming out because I loved the musical The, the music was so great Mm-hmm. And Emma Thompson is Miss Trunchbull. You, I freaking love her, by the way. So oh, I do too. She mm-hmm. <laughs> partly uh, that's to be honest with you is even though it, it yes it was my grandmother's name, part that's partly why my daughter is named Emma. Oh yeah, oh, because uh-huh. I love Emma Thompson, and the fact that my grandmother's name was Emma just kind of was like perfect. Mhm. So she she kind of it's like she got one of my favorite actresses and my grand and her great grandmother's name. So it kind of it kind of worked out. Yeah, Emma Thompson is also quite the uh, screenwriter too. Yes. Oh, Emma. Let's get to writing. Uh, Minions. What do we think? Why? Overkill? Why? Well, this because looks like it's a popular. prequel. Yeah, it's a prequel type thing. It's like Gru is like a kid. So, but still, I, I, I'm thinking it's it's like overkill. Yeah, they are very popular. They're very very cute. I mean, uh, it's really because of the kids. The kids, they they love minions. So you know. Listen, I can't even say banana any uh correctly anymore. So. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, anything that'll be popular with children, that they're they're totally gonna make it, you know, yeah. whether you like it or not, because right. the kids oh. will demand to see it. So, <laughs> oh, we know we're just it's just so it's overkill. Uh, the Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World, but they at least said this is it. They're done. Officially spent. 
No more yeah. Jurassic Park movies will be made. Thank Hollywood. God. And it bombed. Well, yeah, well, based off, yeah, based off the box office numbers, it's not yeah. Yeah, that's super what I impressive. Heard. That's I mean, what I heard, too. It is kind of sad because it had the original cast in there. Um, which, you know, I love when that happens, you know. Right. Yeah. Just didn't work out. But I don't know. I mean, it, it, yeah. It, I mean, it, it, it could be suffering from um, the movie equivalent of uh, what many TV shows suffer from, which is you've been on TV way too many damn long and you have way too many seasons syndrome. <laughs> Law and you order know, we could do mind. a whole episode on that, too. I was just thinking, Law and Order comes to mind. Law and Order, Grey's Anatomy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy that's not a, a, a soap opera. So, well, yes, audience. Soap operas at this point, kind of. So, oh. audience, stay tuned. Uh, coming down the line in, in the near future we will do the we'll do a episode on you have been on tv too many damn seasons yes yes starring gray's anatomy yeah <laughs> as the number one. <laughs> oh god you, your whole original <sighs> cast is gone but you keep going i don't understand I know. anyway um <laughs> why a new Halloween movie is coming out. Halloween ends. Um, like, I, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done with Halloween. Stop it. Yes, they're great movies. Yeah, most of them are. They, you know, but still, it's like enough is enough. Yeah. Um, Let Jason Voorhees rest, damn it. You know? Or no, Michael Ooh, Myers. No, Michael Myers. Myers. Even still, Michael even Myers, Friday sorry. the Thirteenth. There's too many of those too. Yeah, they, they redid. Did they redo what it? Was yet? All right, so it's here's like for crying out loud. Yeah, no, sorry. Like, no, go ahead, go ahead. It's like it's like for crying out loud. How many more people are these <laughs> serial killers going to keep killing? How many times well, are I they going to, to get how many killed? More- yeah. Well, how many more times are they going to terrorize poor Jamie Lee Curtis, for God's sake? <laughs> like, Jamie, Jesus. move. Get, like, move to Europe. I doubt he'll get a flight. He'll be safe. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, Jamie, something's got something's to give here, hon. I, <laughs> I know he's your... I, I, I know, I know, but come on now. Yeah, magically he became your brother. Which literally makes no sense. Yeah. It literally makes no sense. You should have just kept it to the first one. Maybe I'll even give him the second one because it literally was the same, you know, it was a continuation. And that should have been it. Done. I'm Michael Myers, night, night. You know, like. Yeah. yeah. And they just kept going. You don't need to. Then you had the ones without Jamie Lee Curtis. And then all of a sudden she came back and magically she appeared like she was his sister. How in the hell did that like and the way that they like wrap that in i'm like that makes no sense none of it makes Zero sense. sense none of it they wanted to keep it going so they you know pulled stuff out of their butt uh-huh. all right i have a list of announced don't know when it's gonna happen if it will still happen, but these have been announced at some point in time. This list is from like 2018 to current. So these are all the ones that are announced. I don't know if they're already in the works or whatever, but first one that I have is I'm already upset. Little Shop of Horrors. Don't you touch that no. movie. No. No. Don't touch it. No. You cannot. You cannot remake that movie because you cannot make anything better than Rick Moranis. Exactly. Nobody will ever be better than Rick, Rick Moranis in that movie. Ever. Oh, ever. <laughs> Reach. Uh, my, my Fair Lady. <laughs> Again. Don't touch it. No. Why? Why? You're, listen, we're about to get very angry. I hope you guys are ready for this. Scarface. Fuck no. 
Especially after what's his name just passed away. Don't you dare. Seriously. No. Don't you no. dare. A bodyguard? Come on. You cannot make a better bodyguard than they had. Why? I'm skipping Seriously, some because like... I don't know these movies, so I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, like, don't touch weird science. <gasps> Who is asking for this? Hey, audience, was it one of you? Did one of you <laughs> ask for these? If you did, did it, let us know because then it, it, because then we know who to come and uh, have words with. Yeah, this has already been apparently. Completed. I mean, like, apparently, one of you guys were asking for these. Yeah. <laughs> Take it back. I don't know how, and I don't know why. Take it back. <laughs> you're not allowed. Um, this has been completed. The Toxic Avenger. The what? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't think it's part of Marvel. I think it's like a... I don't know. know. We're going to move past it. Uh, Okay. Van Helsing. Why? Unless they're going to make it better than the first one. Right. And do not get me wrong. I'm a huge, huge Ackman fan. And I love Kate Beckinsale, but by God, that movie was awful. Right, right. The only of way I watch you're, you're times, only but... you're only allowed to remake it if you make it better. That's it. Right. That's <laughs> if it. if you do test screens and no one is is happy, you just scrap it. Don't even try. <laughs> exactly. Like just no. No. Oh. Mortal Kombat came out in 2021 no it didn't need to oh god my heart police academy don't don't do that don't do that such a good movie actually i I like all the police academies even the sequels i mean the third one kind of you know but the second one was good yeah they were they they were they're not necessarily my kind but i still don't still don't remake them they redid tomb raider in 2018 i don't believe it did very well yeah it only grossed 58.25 million yeah i was gonna say i don't think it did well at all uh they remade overboard in 2018 that also didn't do well Uh, just over 50 million it left alone. Uh huh. They're redoing Perry Mason TV show. Why? Though it seems to be doing pretty well on IMDb. It has a seven point five uh, review. So I. But why? Why? What's the point of it? I mean, why can't you just watch the original? Right. I mean, in this What's day and wrong? age, you can watch it at, at, at with the click of a button. Seriously. Battle Royale was announced. I don't know why they're doing that either. I mean, for crying out loud. A pair, I mean... Okay, granted, I didn't actually watch it, but still, you know, people who've seen the original Battle Royale have said it's, like, a very good movie. But, you know, it's like, why do you need to make a remake of this? I mean, I bet... I... Um... Is it like a Hollywood uh, version or something? Uh, and not like, I don't and it's know. not like a Japanese one? I don't know. It doesn't give me much of anything. It just says it was announced, so there's no info on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, Firestarter came out. Or it is, at, I don't know if it did come out. I don't know. It's a 4.6, but there's no, I don't know if it's still, I don't know. Hellraiser yeah. is completed. Again, enough. Hellraiser? Yeah. Why are they remaking Hellraiser? Say why? Because we don't know what to do anymore. Just because you can, Hollywood, does not mean you should. Private Benjamin? I know that. I don't know why. A new Spawn movie? 
Apparently, Hollywood has decided to uh, raid um, everything from the 80s. Yeah. Why in the hell would they make remake Spawn? Just to annoy you. Stars Seriously. Jeremy Renner and Jamie Foxx. I am excited. Wicked. But that's not really a remake. It's a reboot no, of the Broadway it... musical, but it's still, it's a new movie. Right, so it's it's somewhat new. I'm okay with that. It's actually going to be split into two movies, they said. Oh, interesting. Because it was also a book that they, yes. the book, then they made the Broadway movie from the book. Right. And now they're making a movie out of it, too, which is awesome. I love but, the book, by the way. I, I, I'm just, I, I'm still trying to figure out how in the hell Jeremy Renner and Jamie Foxx are going to do Spawn. Yeah, I'm interested in that one. Um, because, I'm sorry, you can't actually get better than John Leguizamo. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Um, What was announced, an untitled I Am Legend reboot. No. Like, no. The first one was fine. I cried. Holly, what I'm saying, I'm telling you right now, no. I cried. And the dog died. No, no, I think we all do. No did. offense to Will Smith, but I don't cry when people die usually. I, I care more about the dog. First of all, the dog's name was Sam. Hello. Exactly. You know? And at the time, I had a German Shepherd, and she was a German Shepherd. Yes. And then he was all alone. It was his only companion. I know. So sad. I know. They're currently filming. I, I, you know. Sorry, go ahead. I keep rushing. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's all right. I just keep. I was just saying. I was just gonna say. Anytime there's a there's a dog in a movie, you can almost guarantee the dog is going to die. Oh. Not in my movie. What my movie, saying? they would live happily ever. Um, uh, they're currently filming mm -hmm. a reboot of Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm. Oh, another Freddy Krueger movie? Really? Uh, Johnny Depp better be in it if it's a reboot. I'm just saying. Not you be better be. Not be hey, listen. If, if you guys are already only rebooting stuff from the seventies and the eighties, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we'll get some uh, actors from back then to show. Up. You know, again, again, pay homage to the original. And it, it would right. be a little weird to see him in it. He was like a baby when that movie came out. Now he was he's, a baby. he's he's up there. Still fine looking man, he, but he, he's no baby now. No, he's not a baby. He's not a baby. He is not baby face no more. But no. my God, he's still good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, big trouble in Little China. <sighs> doesn't need to be remade. The Blob. That doesn't need to be remade. <laughs> In 2019, they rebooted Charlie's Angels. That didn't need to be remade. It was a made-for-TV movie, it looks like. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. They need to quit trying to remake, trying to make that into a th into an actual movie stuff because I've seen a couple of them. They're not good. It has Chris Pine, Sophia Lillis, Justice Smith, and Michelle Rodriguez. Interesting. That's an interesting cast. I mean, I'll I'll probably end up watching it just because, but I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm not holding out high hopes for it. Yeah, because like I mean, a lot of a lot of movies based off of like games, whether you're talking about like video games or board games, like ninety something percent of them suck. That's the general consensus. Most of them suck. There's yeah. only been like a few, like a handful that have ever been actually kind of good. You know? Right, and they're few and far between. Yeah, Very I mean, cool. yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, like that's an. I mean, we could probably get into, um, and this could be another follow up to this whole uh, lack of originality where they're using freaking board games now. <laughs> right. Pretty soon, there's going to be a Monopoly well, they... movie. Well, uh, I'm waiting for them to remake Clue uh, for the again. You, you know. I will fight someone. Yeah, I mean, Clue was actually one of the few game 
movies that was actually pretty good. Um, even yeah. if people didn't. Do you want to know what I loved about yeah. that movie though? Is like you could tell like they didn't take like not that they didn't take it seriously, but it was all you know good fun, you know like that type of movie where they literally like you know they had fun doing it. It was satire. It was all satire the entire way through it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it really was so good. Love, yeah, that, that was a really good cast. I love that. Movie. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's that they had a great cast. I mean, you had some pretty good comedians on there, and you know the others who weren't particularly comedians they had pretty good timing so you know the chemistry was good oh yeah so i mean we're we're just saying it does it's one of those it doesn't need to be remade it was it the original is just fine ah the fugitive don't you dare you cannot remake The Fugitive. No, Tommy Lee Jones was great in that. First of all, and Benicio del Toro. Again, this is a remake of a remake because the first movie, the 1993 film, was based off of the 1960s TV series. Which, okay, that's fine. Now you leave it alone. You don't touch it. Well, you know the one that got me, that really got me, and I'm. I've yet to actually sit down and watch it. Is they they remade Walker, Texas Ranger. What? Yes. Yeah. Yes. With Jared Padalecki as Walker. What? Yes. Clearly, C- yeah. Clearly, CW really loves uh, <laughs> their supernatural guys. <laughs> yes. I just no. <laughs> You cannot replace Chuck Norris as Walker, yeah. Texas Ranger. You cannot do it. He is Walker, Texas Ranger. Walker. Like, he is. It, it's him. You think of Walker, yes. Texas Ranger, and Chuck Norris's face. Norris comes to mind. Not Jared Padalecki. No offense to him. You're not Chuck Norris. No offense to him. There's no one. You're not. No and one like Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> and I'm they renewed no it. And they renewed the show for another season. So, <sighs> yeah. No. Um, they announced that they're going to remake The Howling, reboot of the 1981 horror film. And I know what you did last summer. You know, you know, listeners, you guys listening to this episode, you probably should have made like a bingo card. <laughs> <gasps> they're remaking Memento? <laughs> no. Oh, that was such a good like seriously movie. guys you should probably make a you guys should probably make a bingo card out of all the different types of things they could either be rebooting or sequeling and it then is each probably time they announce place. it you, you can cover a space my, my only hope is that all of these that are like announced don't come through that's my only hope these have been announced that they're yeah. at least in the planning stages like here's one naked gun no. no, no, you you cannot remake Naked Gun. Oh, oh. I refuse. Uh, God, Just, Hollywood's gone insane. No, 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 no. So what's this? A ne- yeah, a Netflix uh, made for Netflix movie, and it's a a reboot from She's All That, and it's called He's All That. I heard it was absolutely terrible. Don't do it. Uh, announced just sister act no. again no uh no we we are not going to remake sister act um it looks like they're gonna i'm telling you right now yeah no you'll never make it better than Whoopi Goldberg never yeah. the whole cast was like Jeff Smith. seriously it was uh they're making a live action adaptation of the sword and the stone Uh, they better be turning into some real squirrels and birds. Like, I want like legitness, not you know, live animation. Not Lion King all over again. No, like, I want a legit squirrel, a blue squirrel. He was blue. That's what I want to say. You're gonna have to dye a squirrel blue, then, damn it! I'm a squirrel and dye it first. That's <laughs> what you know. If it's not there, I'm walking out. <laughs> Um, and I want a real dragon. (laughs) (laughs) 
we we don't want much. I, I'm not asking for much. If you can get me a real dragon, then we can have a conversation about this live action. Say. Uh huh. Uh, the Wolf Man. If you can't give me the live dragon, if you cannot give me a real live dragon and a blue squirrel, then we're done. <laughs> oh God. Uh, the Wolf Man. Let's see. We talked about Aladdin and Dumbo and. Yeah, they just just no. They redid Robin no. Hood for like the nine hundredth time. Hellboy. No. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh my god, it's filming right now. White men can't jump. <sighs> oh my god, I can't. Why would you do such a thing? Oh. That just hurts. And that's it. This is just ridiculous. That was, that was, that's a painful list. Painful list. Yeah, I, don't, I do not like that yeah. list. You know, let, let, let me ask you. Where's all the writers? You know, there's all of, the, all of these film festivals, right? Filled with indie mm -hmm. films. How about you go get some of those writers and, uh, you know, see what they can come up with. Because obviously the ones yeah, that we have don't know what the heck they're doing anymore. And I almost wonder, is it that they're playing it safe? Because they know that these are classics that people like. So they don't want to deviate from what... But can't they tell people are getting annoyed? Like, again, as we said, no one's asking for these reboots. Nobody's asking for these sequels. No one's asking for any of this. We want new content. Let me tell you something. The moment they start remaking Robin Williams films, because you know eventually it's going to happen. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going with, uh, like, you know, Torch and Pitchfork. And and I'm I'm going. So whatever, whoever, don't touch those films, man. Don't touch them. You leave them alone. I know. We we don't. You don't touch King Robin's films ever. Just say. Although they already did with Aladdin. Yes. Yeah. But I think even if he was alive. He wouldn't have been in the film, so no. That's that's the only. But like, if they touch Hook or Mrs. Doubtfire, I'm coming for them. I'm coming. Well, they tried to remake Peter Pan at one point. Yes, in like the early two thousands. It was a different. It was different though. I I actually didn't mind that Peter Pan. Um, because I mean the yeah, because that's actually based off of more of the book yeah. or the play rather versus yeah. the Disney movie or anything. Um, yeah. and isn't there what? Yeah, I think we were talking about it not too long ago that they're doing um something's gonna be a uh, TV musical just announced the next live musical on TV. I can't remember what it was. I just saw it too. Yeah, yeah that yeah. another one that I was I was not happy that they decided to remake. I mean that they really didn't need to remake was um well they made it into a TV musical again was uh oh god sound of music. Mm. With Carrie Underwood. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but that, no. No. That was not. That, that was not needed. Yeah. It's, you know, and listen, I love that they are doing the live musicals. 
You know, like it's getting people who can't necessarily go see these musicals. And it's not new. Like Peter Pan, they've done it before. Um Yeah. With uh Mary Martin. And Sandy Duncan. Yeah. And you know, so oh they're doing Beauty and the Beast. That's what they're doing. ABC, oh, ABD yeah, yeah, yeah. for the 30th anniversary. But if they do the musical, I'll be okay with that. Because I love, I actually want it to come back to Broadway. That's how much I love the first musical that I've ever seen. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So if they do it right, you know, there's only certain ones that, you know, like I thought, like I said, like the, I wasn't a huge fan of the the newer Peter Pan live action uh, musical or whatever. Mm-hmm. The Mary Martin one, loved that one. Um, I thought um, Air Spray was good. I enjoyed that. Grease wasn't bad. Rent kind of got ruined, so we didn't actually get to see that could have been because uh the guy who played roger broke his foot the night before he couldn't perform so if they did more of like a concert yeah. version or whatever yeah, it was but anyway so i i'm willing to give it a chance as long as they do it based off of the actual musical and not the movie I I just I think we can all agree that um like we said before Hollywood has completely lost its spark of original thought and they need to do something quickly. But the problem is is people are always going to go uh-huh. see them. Yeah. It's just annoying. Yeah. You know, and I mean, they've done remakes forever, but never as many as they are now. I feel like everything that's coming out these days are remakes or sequels. Oh, yeah, totally is. Totally is. Thanks for listening, everyone. Catch us next time. And see what we're going to talk about. Because the three fates decide.